a solar panel review. I've been sent a solar panel uh, from All Powers. This is the 100 watt foldable monocillion, uh, monocrystillion solar panel. Uh, so it's got monocrystals rather than polycrystals or something like that, which means it's got that better input, uh, it draws more power in. They're made of better crystals than the little tiny ones. Um, this retails at 189 pound. Um, not the cheapest solar panel, but also this is a very flexible solar panel. So I really am looking forward to having this out. I've never had this open. I have not unfolded this. I've not tried it out. I've not tested it. I'm literally just gonna show you what it is I've got. Then I'm gonna plug it in and have a look at it and have a play of it and see how it works. But I'm really excited by this. This is an extremely small, lightweight, uh, compact, carryable solar panel that you can take absolutely anywhere with you. Amazing, you put it in your rucksack, can't you? I mean, just fantastic. 2.15 kilos. Um, or 2.15 kilos even, uh, which is about 75 ounces. That's lightweight. Most solar panels are about four and a half kilos. So yeah, that really is quite compact and packable. Um, folded down size, I'm gonna give you some sizes. So folded down, uh, folded down it is 12.6 uh, inches by 7.5 by 3.2. And if you want to know what size it is unfolded, it's 37 inches by 37 inches. <laughs> it's huge. So I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna clip it to the side of my van to have a little look at it and see what it does. It comes with an array of cables. Uh, I've got a small, a small disappointment. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, a small disappointment. It, it comes with this cable with these two round pins, a yellow and a black pin. Um, so I assume that's a, a power cable. Uh, you also get four carabiners for hanging it up. It's got something like 16 hooks on it or something like that. Uh, so you've got four carabiners for hanging it up. You've got a small uh, micro USB cable. Yeah. Cow up behind you, heading this direction, which makes me a bit nervous. So yeah, it comes with this little array of sockets as well. Um, you've got a square one, a round yellow one, a green one, a white one, and a little red one. Uh, they're all different size power sockets, which actually I think now go on the end of this, which makes that a power uh, socket to fit all sorts of devices. Um, I'll give you an idea of the devices. There's a USB socket, standard USB. You've got a 5.5 by 2.1 mil, 5.5 by 2.5 mil, a 6.25 by 3 mil, and so on and so forth. I'll put it on the screen for you. <laughs> There's lots of them. And you also get um, another socket, uh, you get a pair of um, clamps that go onto your battery with a fuse in it and a socket that fits into there. So you can actually charge this, I think, through your solar panel. Now, what I was gonna say about a disappointment is it doesn't come with a fitting to fit to the standard MP4s, PL9s. You know what I mean. I'll put them on the screen and show you what they look like. It doesn't come with one of them, but I'm just seeing on here now that I think it will charge um, using a different socket. So I'm just gonna have a look because I've got the All Powers R600 with me as well. Um, so I've just done a review on that. If you wanna have a look at that, it's up in that top corner, um, just to say, you know, what I've got and what I'm using. But I wanna try and charge this with this, and I'm not sure it comes with the right cable, and that is really disappointing if it doesn't. Apparently this is waterproof. Um, it's got a high anti-wear PTE solar panel and it's water resistant material. It doesn't mean it's waterproof, it means it's water resistant, which means it should take a bit of a rain shower, um, but nothing more. I'm just keep looking around because there's cows around here and they scare me. Comes with the clips and also inside this, it does actually have, inside here you have a uh, connector with a 18 watt, an 18 volt output single round socket and you've got two standard USB USB sockets at 2.4 amps so you can run and charge your phone straight off this oh and there's a socket on the side there's a little uh, parallel plug socket on the side as well um, I don't quite know what it does but oh, it could be a power output obviously obviously a power output that's what this one's for it's got a um, Overpower protection, which is good, which means you don't overpower things, um, which is nice to know because sometimes you get these things, you plug them in and, you, and they're, really, they're really cheap items. You don't know whether it's going to break your phone or break something. Um, back in the days, you used to charge things and things would die very quickly. And that's because you're getting overcharged. So having an overcharge protection is really good. It's also got surge protection in it as well. And the surge protection stops that initial power input, which again can break and deteriorate batteries on phones and gadgets and cameras and things like that. Short circuit protection, standard, good. 
and it's a ROHS, which is that standard, that affiliation thing. Uh, it's a fast charger, fast and safe. There's a cow doing a wee up there behind me. Really? <laughs> I had to stop recording then and start again um, because that cow came really, really close to the van and spooked me a bit. I don't even know what I was saying. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just unfold this. Let's see if I can clip this to the side of the van and let's have a, a little look and see how this works. There is actually a pocket in here as well. I think this would be good for keeping your cables in and wires in. But yeah, you can see how small it is. Not even the size of a laptop. Um, we're going to unfold it and see. This is the first time I've never done this before, so bear with me. Um, it unrolls, which is nice. Once it unrolls, you can unfold it. So you've got a single section, or you've got a free section. So this is it, unfolded. This is what it looks like, and it actually feels quite lightweight. I do believe I can actually hang this on the magnets on the side of the van. So bear with me a sec, and I'll get a couple of these magnets, which I'll keep here. I'll attach them to the side of the van, and uh, we'll hang it up and have a look and see if it attaches to the van okay. That is brilliant. That is really, really good. I'm really impressed with that. It sticks to the side of the van. These magnets are very, very strong. If you're interested in these magnets, I'll put a link in the description, but there are holes all the way around, loops all the way around. So if I wanted to put an extra one to make it even safer, I can put extra ones on the side. Um, but the fact that I can stick this to the side of the van, the sun's on it, brilliant, really is good. So we've got our charging ports at the top there. Um, I could have probably hung it upside down so these are at the bottom would make more sense. Uh, so yeah, let me flip it over and then I'll uh, see if we get any power out of this thing. So as you can see, I flipped it upside down now and our little power socket is down the bottom. And I've just noticed something else as well. This pocket, I could actually put my phone in. Oh, barely, yeah, my phone does actually fit in there if I needed to. So I, I could leave it charged in. So I'm gonna plug this, I'm not gonna plug this cable in and get one that fits. So I'm gonna get my USB-C cable. I'm gonna plug this in. There's another cow over there coming this way. Oh, I'm gonna plug this in here and I'm gonna see what sort of an output we get. And I'm gonna trust this not to blow my um, phone to pieces. So that goes into the USB socket. I'm gonna plug my phone in and do we get a charge? We do. <laughs> it is charging my phone straight from the sun. <laughs> it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I can't tell you what it's charging, how much power I'm actually getting into my phone. Uh, I could do with an app really for that, couldn't I? Um, but yeah, it's definitely charging my phone with the sun. And as the sun comes out even brighter, it should charge even quicker. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna tell me on there how much to fully charged, an hour to fully charged off of 58%. So that's pretty good. So yeah, that, that works. I like that. Um, but what I do want to do is work out how to get that to charge this. If I can get it to charge this, then we're laughing. All right, so I can't really do much more with this. I don't have a, an adapter to fit the cables to use it to charge the power bank. So what I'm going to do is have a look. I'm going to contact them and ask them if there is actually an adapter they sell to attach this to a power bank. Um, so I need to attach it to the standard cables, which are which are in this. This is what comes with your standard solar panels. Uh, so I need an adapter to convert these, these things, which are whatever they are, the PL9s, are they? Something like that. You know the ones. Uh, to adapt that, so this plugs into my solar charger. Um, so yeah, we need to convert this to this, and then we can charge anything. So all well and good, they'll have one that does that. So I know these my reviews are very random and not very educational but all i want to do is really show the products and give you an idea of what they make and how they make them but this is going to be used more than any of my other solar panels because i know i can just clip this on the side of the van i can lay it on the roof of the van and when i'm not using it i can fold it up and put it inside my rucksack or in my clothes bag and i know i've got it with me at all times so yeah absolutely amazing thanks to all powers for sending that thanks for the r600 as well Prices and everything are on the screen. All the description and links will be down in the uh, notes below. And uh, till next time, ciao for now. Let's see what else we can come up with. But this is fantastic.
brilliant.